So let me give you about 20 seconds to go back and just think for R, what you might believe the intercepts to be, what you recall the vertical asymptote being. And then if you can think ahead, maybe you remember from high school how to find that horizontal asymptote. So see if you can answer the next three questions. Okay. So our intercepts will be the intersections with either of the axes. If our curve crosses either axis, that's called an intercept. Now I just kind of think to myself tabularly, you know, can I plug in zero for R? what would r of zero be? And if I look at my simplified output rule, that would be one over the difference, zero minus five, and that's negative one fifth. So I might not know what to call it, but it turns out being what, a vertical intercept? But our curve is gonna cross just a little bit under the origin down negative one-fifth. Yeah, so maybe I can scale my vertical axis. Okay, but so we have an intercept zero comma negative one-fifth. Okay, uh, let's see if there is a, hor a horizontal intercept. And then I'll get right to those vertical asymptotes. If I take my simplified output rule, one over x minus five, I take that output rule and I set it equal to zero. And I wanna solve to find any roots, to find any intercepts. I might suggest to my students to put the whole number zero over one And notice, well, there's two things you could do. Number one, you could cross multiply and rewrite. And you'll notice that if I cross multiply along the first diagonal, I get zero. If I cross multiply along the second diagonal, I get one. And there is no value of x that zero would ever equal one. So there's no solution. There's no value of X that makes this ratio zero. And so there is, I'll write the word error. There's just, there's not a horizontal intercept. There's just a vertical. So once in a while, I'm gonna ask you for some of those special ordered pairs, which it might be a vertical or a horizontal intercept, or it could be a very special turning point like a vertex of a parabola, I might ask you for that. I don't believe we talked about that yesterday. I wanted to bring that in. When we were finishing up yesterday, we had decided, or at least I'd pointed out that there was gonna be a vertical asymptote at, it's actually at positive five. So here's the rule of thumb to find vertical asymptotes. Maybe I can even write this down for us. The rule of thumb for finding a vertical asymptote is to simplify the rational function, set the denominator equal to zero and solve. But it's gotta be the simplified form. 